Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about SQL is null and is not null. So what exactly is null and not null? So to put it simply, in a particular table, there could be some of the cells or the values which are not mandatory and you can leave them blank, right? So a field in SQL tables can have a null or no value at all. So say for example, when I'm defining a table, I say that this is the customer ID which cannot be null right so which cannot be blank you can't leave it blank then in that case you always have to make sure that the particular field has the value but then there are many fields or many values or cells that are being defined while defining these tables when you don't need or in those fields you don't necessarily restrict that a field or a value needs to be there so these fields or these tables which have these fields can have the null values right or no value so that's what null is all about so finding or basically figuring out if a particular field is not having a value right or is null or is not null okay so that's where null and not null will be used and we'll be understanding how we can use is null and is not null to quickly fetch those rows which have the null values or no value in the fields or which don't have the null values right so if the field is defined as the optional right so usually when you when you are defining the table you can define a field as an optional say for example middle name not everyone has the middle name right so if you restrict while defining the first name middle name and last name that you definitely have to put certain value there then that's not right so while defining itself in the table the database uh, people they define it as not null or basically it is not a mandatory value it is an optional value if you have a middle name you put put it there if you don't have it then you leave it blank and if you leave it blank or if you don't have the middle name then the null or no value will be placed in that middle name cell right so this is where this optional value is being defined and it helps in inserting and updating the data and uh, the record so if i do not have a middle name i can just specify my first name and last name and upload my record into the table right now what is null and is null not null it is basically a way to fetch the records or retrieve the records where the cells are having null or basically the, the cells are blank right and is not null is basically just the opposite of null so if you are fetching the rows which contain null values then is not null will be just returning the opposite of the null so let's go to the workbench and quickly understand it okay so let me remove all of the previous queries now if i say select all from customer it will fetch me all the records now if we analyze these records closely you will see that this street column here for this particular record is not having any value okay city doesn't have any value as well now these cells are not mandatory so while defining this particular table what i have mentioned is that street and city can be blank for the values or the records that can be pushed okay so if that is an optional field then while inserting the data into the table you can leave these fields blank and it won't throw an error but if a particular field say for example customer id is defined as mandatory field then you can't leave it blank and sql will throw an error if you try to insert a null value or basically a blank value in this particular cell here for the customer id okay so how null and not null will help here so it is used with the where clause okay so i can simply please say select start from customer if i just want to quickly fetch all the records which have the null values okay so i can say select start from customer where i want to fetch all the rows where the city is null okay so i can say where city is null okay and with this it will just quickly give me the records where the city is not having any value right you can see that there was one record which is a triple zero eleven for which city doesn't have any value and is null will help me to fetch that record quickly if i want the opposite of it so basically i want to fetch all the records which are not having city as null so i can say is not null okay so where city is not null 
So I want to fetch all the records where city is not null. So I'll say is not null. If I run it, it will return me all the records where city always have the value, right? So city will be fetched. All the records will be fetched and city will always have the value. Now in practical scenarios, these are very important or basically learning this query and learning about is null and is not null will be very helpful during the practical testing where basically say for example, there are transactions records right and in the transaction record or say for example there are name records so you want to fetch all the customers who have the middle name okay so in that case you can say where middle name is not null okay so it will fetch you all the customers that have the middle name and if you want to fetch all the customers who don't have the middle name you say middle name is null okay now um, say for example let me get all the records again okay now here we know that this is the record which doesn't have the street and doesn't have the city as well okay so can i use null condition or is not null condition multiple columns as well yes absolutely so what i can do is i can say select the records from the customer table where city is null say for example i want to pull the records where the city is null and with the and i can say city is null and city or sorry country is not null right so what i'm saying is i want to fetch all the records where city is null but the country is not null okay so i can do something like that with the multiple columns as well if i run this then you will see that it has fetched me the same record but the uh, the query is basically it's saying the city is null but the country has the value so it is fetched me that record wherein the city is null and the country is not null okay if i say city is not null and country is not null so it will fetch me all the records where city and country are always present, right? So you can basically use these conditions of null and not null on multiple columns to fetch the record for your testing as per the needs. Okay, so that's all about this tutorial on null and not null. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.